What's going on YouTube, Isaac's Trade. Let's talk about Crypto.com real quick. But if this is your first time tuning in, why don't you make sure you subscribe to the channel, that like button's letting the bells rung so you don't miss out on any of my live streams or next video update. Now, I've been acquiring Crow since basically um, came on to Coinbase. Um, the only thing I kind of wish I would have done was do a little bit of more uh, DD and realize actually the use case behind this one. Um, these little white dots right here are kind of when I've been buying and adding to my position. And um, yes, I still am adding to my position. I would not be out here making videos on any of this bullshit unless I'm thinking about or if I still am adding to the position. Now, what we had happen and what I did see here is actually on the two hour chart. Let's zoom out a little bit because you know what? I am a long term investor and I'm not looking in for day. But this red candle right here, or not red, this red X is basically the death cross. If you're not too familiar with the death cross, this is when the short term, which in our case would be the 52 day moving average. A lot of people like to use the 50 day, but I like to use the 52. Don't ask why. It's just I like the way it sounds. Crosses over to the long term, whether that be the 152 to 172, 200 day moving average. 200 day moving average, it would have been kind of a little bit late, so that's why I use the 152, 172. It kind of gives you a little bit of a earlier insight in there. But back over here, we did have the death cross where the 52 crossed over to the 152. Now, I did buy quite a bit more on in there. That's why we saw this downward trend. This is a very, very bearish um, indication when you see this, but it's not the end of the world. That's the time to buy. If you've been coming into my live streams, I've been saying this over and over. When it is red, yellow, and green, that's the time to buy. When it is green, yellow, and red, that's the time to sell because that is an upward trend. This is a downward trend. Upward trend, you sell. Downward trend, you buy. Now, what we have over here is what I'm anticipating to be a golden cross. Now, a golden cross is basically the reverse of a death cross. It's not that hard. This shit's not rocket science. The golden cross is when the short term crosses over the long term. In our case, it's going to be the 52 crossing over to the 152 day. 172 day will give you some confirmation. But like I said, it's kind of a little bit late. I mean, you can use the 200 day moving average, whatever the fuck floats your boat. Remember, because none of this shit's a recommendation. I'm not a financial advisor and I will not be buying or selling anything ever. But what we have going on down here is look at the RSI. I mean, a golden cross, a death cross is cool, but what you want to see is you want to see RSI, the relative strength, kind of picking up. The only other thing we're missing is volume. I would really like to see this volume skyrocket back up to right around here because this is when the death cross kind of sold off a little bit. If we're able to pass these volume levels we saw back here on this death cross, I believe crypto.com shouldn't have any issues hitting the $3 mark I gave it by Christmas. I will not be selling the news on Crowcoin. This is a long-term whole hodl right here. This is not a quick uh, few month hold. No, this is uh, you're gonna want to accumulate this one over a few months. That's what I got for you. Comment down below in the comment section. No, let me know what you think. Let me know what you're doing with crypto.com. Let me know where you think it's gonna go. Cause hell, I don't know what I'm talking about. This shit's all just a guess right here. That's all I'm doing. I'm out, baby.